I'm Dr. Phoebe Thorpe, here to talk about sickle cell disease with Dr. Hassel. Tell me, what is sickle cell disease? So sickle cell disease is a disorder of the blood where uh, the hemoglobin, the parts in the red blood cells that carry oxygen, is uh, in, by an inherited basis is, is uh, deformed. And so one has to have two genes, one from mom, one from dad, to be abnormal in a way that can create sickling inside the red blood cell. Sickle cell disease is really interesting though because we think about it as a red cell disease because there's these abnormal genes inside the red cell, mm -hmm. but actually what happens with sickle cell disease is that the red cells can circulate through the body and can break apart and cause damage from the contents that they spill into the organs and cause damage, but also can block the flow through the blood vessels. And in many ways, the blood vessels change and create uh, misshapen blood vessels and other harms so that people with sickle cell disease are actually in some ways like uh, people with diabetes because blood sugar goes everywhere and can damage many different organs. It circulates through the blood. And for people with sickle cell disease, the red blood cells actually behave like too high a blood sugar and mm -hmm. cause harm to various organs. Most devastatingly, however, if those blood cells get stuck in the blood vessels, they actually can cause very severe pain when they uh, all of a sudden get blocked in one particular area and the blood supply is cut off to an area of the body, calling, uh, creating what's called sickle cell crisis or excruciating painful events that hit all of a sudden and very hard. Yeah, and they can affect, they also, you can get that blockage in the brain and in the spleen and the liver, it's, it's anywhere blood flows. Yeah, it actually, yeah. and it, as like diabetes, I often have uh, people and providers think about it that way because when a person with diabetes comes in, they don't just think about what is the blood sugar. And when people with sickle cell come in, I have them think about not just how anemic is the person, which is a consequence of having misshapen red blood cells, but also to consider where have the blood cells been stuck, creating damage and injury. So mm -hmm. it's really a whole body disease and a change in the organs and the body systems, not just a disease of the blood. And so some things like diabetes, there's prevention and there's treatment. What, what, in, what are they doing in healthcare now for people with sickle cell disease? So in the medical system, sort of on the medical side, there are ways to change what hemoglobin is made inside the red blood cells. Mm -hmm. There's a treatment called hydroxyurea, which is uh, an oral chemotherapy, although it's not the kind that make your hair fall out or make you sick, it, but it prompts the red cells to make the fetal or the baby hemoglobin mm -hmm. instead of the sickle hemoglobin that you make after you're born if you have the sickle cell disease. And so if those cells don't sickle as much, they aren't as toxic or damaging to the rest of the body and the anemia is less severe. And of course, if it's a problem with blood, one can simply give normal blood cells in place of the sickle red blood cells. And so transfusion treatments are used to prevent complications like stroke, which can mm -hmm. devastate up to 10% of children with sickle cell anemia. Wow. Uh, and or uh, other acute complications of a person severely ill, transfusion therapy, putting in good healthy red blood cells can really make a difference. So that's the way we impact what happens with sickle cell disease.